Hey everyone, Skull902 back here once again for Sonic 3 and Knuckles. This is part 3. This is Marble Garden Zone, not Marble Zone from Sonic 1. Like I was practicing my commentary earlier and I, I was like, Oh, we're going to Marble Zone. Oh wait, shit. <laughs> uh, it's a good thing I wasn't recording that. But now that I've told you, I guess the whole benefit of not recording that is... You, you know what? Whatever. Fuck it. <laughs> But yeah, Marble Garden Zone is uh, one that's fairly long, uh, and even though th this part actually uh, comes out at a similar time than uh, the other uh, parts, so I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, but this zone is absolutely rife with uh, special stage rings, uh, just like that one, and we're going to be seeing a few more, too. Uh, so <laughs> here's a little meeting with the with the mid-boss, but yeah, like... Uh, we, we are going to be seeing a fuck ton of uh, special stage rings, uh, more so in Act 1 than Act 2, but I think, uh, well, let's keep a count. Uh, I think that I get 8 in this video, and I'm about to get number 2, as well as number 3, like, they are jam-packed close to each other in the beginning of Act 1. Uh, it's actually pretty fucking insane, so, uh, uh, it, you know, like, I just, over time playing this game, uh, learned, uh, like, where a, a lot of the, uh, 77 rings are, so, uh, I, I, I guess I'm, I'm doing this to try and be helpful to, uh, some people, uh, to, uh, you know, g give them, say if they're not so good at the special stages, give them an opportunity to, uh, uh, like, have a, a fuck ton of chances at getting uh, the special stages uh, and getting all the emeralds. So, uh, ho hopefully, again, like I said in the last part, I, I am helping uh, people out with that. Uh, if, if anyone actually does use this as a sort of uh, guide <laughs> at all, which I, I doubt will happen, but you never know. Whatever. Screw it. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, as I also said in the last part, or maybe it was Angel Island, who fucking cares, I know I said it at some point, um, when you get a special stage ring after collecting all of the emeralds, all of a particular set, uh, uh, it, it will give you 50 rings, uh, so it, it pretty much grants you the ability to transform into supersonic. Now, as you may be seeing, I have jumped a couple times, or well, more than a couple actually, since uh, getting 50 rings, and uh, the game has not automatically changed me into Supersonic like Sonic 2 would. Uh, and that's because in Three Knuckles, they changed the mechanics. I guess Sega got enough complaints, uh, or maybe they just figured it would be better because, you know, it is. Um, where they, uh, they, they changed it to make it a double tap. Uh, but for for Sonic, uh, it, it doesn't quite work that way when you have one of the shields. Because, um, you know, the shields have uh, special abilities when you play as Sonic. As Tails and Knuckles, and this is something that's going to be uh, coming up uh, in my Knuckles playthrough uh, quite a few times, uh, th the shields don't uh, prevent you from turning into Super. So if you double jump uh, to try and do one of your abilities, like be it Tails is flying or... Uh, Knuckles is gliding, um, you, you know, the, the shield won't prevent you from uh, using your super form, and uh, yeah, th th that can get annoying, but, you know, like, it's it's not a, a terrible problem or anything like that, I, I don't, like, see it as ruining my game or whatever, it's just uh, something, it, it's always unexpected, which is kind of weird, because I know how the game works, um, so, like, you would, you would think, right, that, uh, that I I would try to avoid double tapping as much as possible, but those are like crucial mechanics uh, in in Knuckles' playthrough at least. You don't really have to fly his tails; it just you know makes things a little less stressful. Uh, though I, I will argue that the first half of the game is tails uh, isn't quite as easy if uh, you're a fucking supersonic spammer like I am, because you know tails doesn't get. Uh, the uh, like a, a super form after collecting the seven chaos emeralds, you have to you have to go and you have to go out of your way to get all fourteen emeralds to get a super form as tails, and it's well worth it. But at the same time, like come on, Sega, come on, come on. <laughs> uh, I'll get more into that later. 
uh, with the extras video, which is <laughs> that's been like my catchphrase this fucking playthrough. I'll, I'll get I'll get into that more later. <laughs> I I don't mean to withhold information from you guys. It's just not relevant to the current zone that we're playing. But I keep bringing uh, bringing up stuff that I want to mention later for some reason. I don't get it. I don't get me. But, yeah, uh, th this, I think, uh, Act 2 actually does a good job of uh, introducing uh, some things that'll be happening uh, later. <laughs> that word again, later. Uh, in the zone. Um, like, uh, the, the ground rumbling uh, that, that we saw there, uh, it's, it's going to happen later, but it's going to be more, uh, more of a hazard. Uh, this time, it really just serves to uh, change the, the, the level design to let you progress either to the top or bottom route. Uh, so, y y you know, it's uh, it's something that I, uh, I I quite appreciate from the developers. They were like, hey, uh, we need to show them what's going to be going down. And yeah, I, I, I think um, a couple other zones uh, do that too. I can't remember off the top of my head, which is funny because I've played this so much. Uh, but I, I, I guess I have a bad mind. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, just going through the, the Helix uh, bonus stage again, and, it, it, again, it's uh, it's just a good... <laughs> it's definitely a, uh, a good way to, uh, like, you know, uh, farm for uh, rings, extra lives, and all that, all that neat shit. Uh, you, you definitely want to um, go ahead and... Uh, go through uh the the bonus stages uh if well i mean i guess if you're someone like me who loves uh collecting a bunch of uh rings unnecessarily to increase your uh your bonus score then yeah uh but also you know it, it i i am of the philosophy that uh there's like there's never too many rings you know you, you want to be able to have as much as you can in order to uh, uh, pick up, you know, as much as possible if uh, if you drop them, um, I I'm not sure how many you drop uh, when you get hit in the classic games. Uh, I think I think it might be 20. In the adventure games, are also 20. Uh, not sure about heroes, but uh, you know this. <laughs> not really about heroes. This is three knuckles, but you know, uh, it, it's like. Just, uh, just make sure you're safe. Being, you know, it's it's better to be safe than sorry, and uh, that's that's what I see collecting all the uh, all the rings that I can is, uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm I hope that you guys get what I'm saying by that. And uh, something that we uh, just saw earlier was, uh, like, for whatever reason, uh, if if you though I did jump off. Um, so I guess it's not exactly the same, but if you uh, hit like one of the enemies, uh, if you have a shield when you're on the spinning tops, uh, it it will you know deal damage to you and make you lose your shield. But not if you don't have a shield; it'll just knock you off. So like you you won't ever lose rings from hitting an enemy if you're on one of the high tops, uh, or I mean <laughs> spinning tops. Jesus. Um, but it's it's something to keep in mind. That's why I tried jumping off uh, at the last minute so that I could keep my fire shield. However, I was a little too late on the draw, and, uh, well, yeah. It, obviously, when you're supersonic, it doesn't deal any damage, because wouldn't that be something if bumping into uh, the fucking bubble or whatever... Uh, the bubbles, that's, that's what its name is, uh, like, canceled your super transformation or something? Wouldn't that be, like, the fucking biggest slap in the face? <laughs> uh, there, there is a boss uh, in the Sonic 3 half uh, that actually does deal damage to Super Sonic and will knock the rings out of him, but, uh, <laughs> you know that old classic Skull 902 saying? <laughs> uh, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> Uh, I should also mention, as, as far as ring collecting is concerned, um, if, if you, uh, like, you know, you know, if you get 100 rings, you get an extra life. If you get 200 rings, you get an extra life. But for some reason, uh, that stops working. Like, I got uh, 300 rings uh, 
just now, but my life counter didn't go up, and I'm not exactly sure why that's a thing. Um, I, I guess the developers just didn't expect you to get over, you know, 200 some rings at a single time. Uh, but here I am. <laughs> uh, it, it, it helps knowing the special stage locations. Oh, fuck. Speaking of which, I didn't keep a count on that. Oh, well. <laughs> but, uh... Not that special ring uh, locations are much of a concern now, because we're uh, pretty much on the way to the boss. If I can fucking... Come on, me. There you go. <laughs> uh, we're, we're on the way to the boss. Uh, just as just as soon as, uh, like, shit starts happening here. Like, this is, this is the start of the sequence. We see the boss. And now... Uh, like I mentioned, uh, they, they introduced this, uh, this thing earlier in the act, where, uh, the ground starts rumbling, and, uh, the level design is actually, uh, like, coming down on top of you, so it's, it's like, a it's like a timed escape thing, you've gotta make sure that you beat the level design, uh, or, you know, you, know, you, you beat the, the, the level from crushing you. Uh, thankfully, as Sonic, you know, it's, it's pretty much just two forward dashes from the fire shield and and you'll be fine uh, as knuckles it's a little more tricky because you get less time to do it and um, it, like you also have to uh, beat one of those uh, weird face thing gates whatever uh, to do that so you know it's uh, it's it's not terribly challenging but uh, I, I do quite like how they were like okay uh, let let's do that so that uh, we can we can introduce them to to that sort of thing later in the zone. Now I pick up this electric shield here, uh, and that's that's purely to get a few rings that are uh, just just laying around. And uh, now see, I I got hit intentionally there. You may be wondering why the fuck would I uh, get myself intentionally hit? Well, it's because this boss is a bitch. <laughs> this boss is a bitch, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, as supersonic, it is extremely easy to take care of, and I, quite frankly, I just don't like dealing with it. Um, as normal Sonic, you see, like, Tails is supposed to pick you up, and then you, you just keep hitting him like this a fuck ton of times. It just, it takes up so much time to do, but as supersonic... Uh, you know, you can hit him the uh, eight required times before this whole section starts, and then all you have to do is hit him once. So, that's how I prefer to do it. If you want to make fun of me for it, then go right ahead. Uh, my feelings won't get hurt. I'm serious. <laughs> okay, well, I guess I'm going to go cry myself to sleep now. Have a wonderful day. Stupid Robotnik, doesn't he know these spike traps never work?